How many times have you tried to sell something on Craigslist? Preferably a motorcycle. Maybe you're trying to sell your motorcycle right now. And all you've gotten are tire kickers, low ballers, people that generally waste your time. Well, I have two questions to ask you right now about that. Number one, did you take or are you taking the process seriously? Or did you simply push your motorcycle out onto the driveway or worse yet, take pictures in the garage with poor lighting and a bad backdrop, upload it to Craigslist, two or three sentences, hey, hopefully somebody will call. Number two, are you giving your ad the maximum chance to be discovered, to be noticed, to be clicked on in a sea of Craigslist ads, of Craigslist motorcycle ads specifically? You see, you're selling your motorcycle. Maybe you're trying to get five, 10, 15, $20,000, but you only dedicate five to 10 minutes to the process and hope somebody just shows up with a bag of cash. That's not how it works. Or if that has worked for you, man, you just got lucky. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. I'm not trying to put anyone down. I am trying to help you with this video, this step-by-step -step video on how to give you more success trying to sell your motorcycle on Craigslist. I can't guarantee it, but man, if you follow these step-by-step -step methods, you will be more successful than if you just sort of whatevered it, pencil whipped it, threw some stuff at the wall and hope it stuck. You see, I've sold a probably about six or seven motorcycles in the past, all on Craigslist, all on Craigslist. I did list those motorcycles on say Cycle Trader and other pay sites. They always sold from Craigslist. So we're going to talk about pictures. We're going to talk about video. We're going to talk about title description. How do you get people to click on your title and the description of your motorcycle that will entice people to want to call you, to want to come see your bike and hopefully purchase your motorcycle. I'm also going to give you a super, super relevant, important, protect yourself tip at the end of this video when that person does come to see your bike. So here's the ask. You wanna sell your motorcycle for several thousand, 15, 20, 25, $30,000. Are you willing to dedicate the time to watch this entire video and follow the steps outlined in this video that will give you a much greater chance to get that money and sell that bike? Are you willing to do that? I absolutely hope so because I'm here to help. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, we're gonna talk pictures, we're gonna talk video, we're gonna talk several things. I'm gonna do some screen recording. I'm gonna put myself in the bottom of the screen, somewhere on the screen so I can walk you through step by step on how to get this done. So let's talk pictures. First thing with pictures, you're gonna notice I'm gonna use a very choice cherry showroom quality looking 1983 R80ST BMW. This motorcycle is pristine. It's been restored by my good friend, Brooke Reams, who I'm gonna have on my podcast here next week. There's also a bunch of information about the bike on Brooke's website, which I will link down to below. The BMW MOA is also participating in helping Brooke raffle this off for the Motorcycle Relief Project, both nonprofit organizations. I don't want to get too much into that in the video because this is going to be over in a couple months and I don't want something to live on the internet that's in the past, but I will link down to all that below. And then of course, when it's over, I'll just remove that information. So let's get into pictures. So when you post your ad on Craigslist, there's going to be the main sort of thumbnail that you want people to click on the main thumbnail that you want people to click on. Then of course, when they click on the ad, there's going to be other pictures involved. You want that main thumbnail to stand out, stand out, grab somebody's attention. Like I said, you can scroll for days and days on pictures in Craigslist. You want that thumbnail to stand out. Let's take a look at Craigslist and see what doesn't stand out. So here we are, 2012 Harley Davidson Deluxe, beautiful motorcycle, $13,500. What a terrible, terrible picture. Terrible, terrible, as Charles Barkley would say. Terrible. First of all, it's vertical. Secondly, I don't know. Is this a motorcycle? Is it a boat? I don't What is that thing to the right? It just doesn't give the opportunity to showcase the motorcycle. Here's another one. 2013 Harley 48. The bike's not framed in the picture right. The lighting's bad. It's at an intersection with some stuff in the background. It's not good. Super Tenere, the background of this image pops more than the motorcycle does. Of course, it's all dark, but it's just super shadowed not a good picture to advertise your motorcycle for sale. Kawasaki Ninja 650. Actually, my first bike was a Ninja 600. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so here we have a motorcycle. We have trash cans, a chain link fence. What is going on here? Is this the best representation of the motorcycle that you're asking somebody to pay $7,000 for? I hope not. So when we talk about the first picture you want people to click on, the thing that they see on the screen when they're rolling Cra Craigslist, you want that to be a pristine picture preferably a great backdrop, something that showcases your bike, but 
doesn't allow the background to overshadow the motorcycle. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are in Photoshop. I've got a couple pictures of my motorcycle. It's not for sale, by the way. Here we are. This is a great picture with a nice background. Here's another picture with a nice background. These are great, but I would not put these on Craigslist as is. What do you think is wrong with these pictures? Well, it does have a nice background, but it's not showcasing the motorcycle. We need to crop these and maybe even do some adjustments to the photos. So we can come in here. You want the motorcycle to be the star of your picture. Okay, so now this photo is cropped down. You can still see that it has a very nice background, but the bike is the star of the show. Let's check out the second picture. Okay, so in this picture, cool scenery, nice little reservoir, got some mountains, but once again, the bike is not the star of the show. Let's go ahead and crop this. Bam, there we go. Now that looks super fantastic. So let's go back to Jones Pass. This is where this was taken. This picture looks great, but it can get better. So there are lots of editing programs out there. Photoshop's a good one. Let's just do a couple things to enhance this picture to make it even better before we put it online. So I'm just gonna go in here and drop a little bit of adjustments. First thing I like to do is shadow and highlights. It does it for you. Boom, you see how that highlights the bike up real nice. Next thing I'll do is probably mess with a little bit of exposure. So I'll just pull this up a tad bit and I'll drop the offset down a little bit. Man, that looks so much better. And the last thing I'll do, which I don't know if I'll keep or not, but let's add some warmth. They have photo filters in Photoshop. Boom. Okay. That looks pretty good. So ask yourself this question. Now, these are two totally different motorcycles, but that picture or that picture or that picture or that picture back to my picture, right? And you've got a couple options. Maybe this isn't quite your style. You go with something like this, the side profile shot. So pictures are super important. And these are the first picture that you click on in order to get your bike noticed. But that's just one part of the equation. You need a great title and a great description. I got a couple things left with pictures, so let's address that. So here's where we talk about my friend Brooks' bike. But if you go back to Craigslist and you look, these guys have a lot of pictures. That's a good example. This guy right here, three pictures. You got, you want $10,000 for your motorcycle, but you have three pictures that you took two minutes to make. So contract, look, and this is even a garage shot. Paint buckets in the background, a saw, look, I don't know this person, probably a great guy, but I feel like you can do a lot better than this. So these are some pictures that I took of Brooks bike. Now look at the difference in these pictures versus what we just saw on Craigslist. Nice motor shot or ADST. Think about your artistic side, right? Beautiful motorcycle. Look at that. Yeah, it's in the driveway, but this bike fills up the frame. I've done a little bit of photo editing. It looks beautiful. Look at this shot. Nice tail end. Another motor side on the other side, motor side on the other side. It rhymes, right? So great photos of the motorcycle really showcases how much I appreciate the motorcycle that I decided to take some amazing shots versus here's three quick shots I took with my cell phone and bad lighting. And oh, by the way, one of them's in my garage. Like give your motorcycle the best opportunity to be seen and appreciated by the public, just like you appreciate it by taking high quality photos. Make that first photo something snazzy, snappy with a cool landscape background somewhere you rode that's really nice. And then include five, 10 other pictures, high quality pictures, great lighting, nice shots. All right, so now we come to the next part of our equation. That is the title and the description of your motorcycle. Don't underestimate the importance of this. Not only is the picture important, but the title that people see where they want to click on it, they want to click on your bike is super important. And once they click on that, the description is going to make or break you. So here we are in Craigslist. I've got 8,500 bucks in there just as an arbitrary price. We're going to use that. But let's just say I was going to put for sale 2021 BMW GS Adventure, right? Seems pretty boring. Let's see if we can get some help with that. Now, of course, if you're into GS Adventures and you're in the market for one, you might click on it, but let's just see if we can tweak that a little bit. So Adventure awaits 2021 BMW GS Adventure slash don't miss out exclamation point. Now, doesn't that look a little better than just the standard, here's the bike? Next thing, and this is where the real magic happens, let's create a really cool description. So in, in here, you're going to put all the things, bike, year, mileage, you know, blah, 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 right? Um, but then we want to come down to the description. This is what is going to entice people to want to learn more about your motorcycle. Today, exclamation point. So now what have we done? Let's recap. We've created our main photo image. We have established that we need multiple pictures that are good quality, good lighting. We have created a very clickable title that we're going to get people to, to, you know, hopefully click on our ad. And then we've created an amazing description. The next thing we're going to get into is adding a short video that we put on YouTube for people to see after they click on your ad. So guys, if you've made it this far, I would really appreciate, and you know what's coming, if you hit that like and subscribe button, 
I really enjoy the motorcycle community. I make motorcycle maps. I do motorcycle tours here in Colorado and Utah. I have a motorcycle podcast where I bring super interesting guests on. But more importantly, I just want to help out the motorcycle community, and that's what I'm doing with this video. So if you're getting something from this video, if it's going to help you sell your motorcycle in the future, please hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know how it went for you. Let's get on with business. Okay, so now we have everything except our YouTube video. We want to make about a one-minute YouTube video where we're just walking around the bike. You can turn the motor on, whatever it is, because think about it. They saw your pictures. The pictures look great. They saw your ad clicked on it. They read the ad. They're like, oh, this is super neat. What are you going to give them that's going to discern you or set you apart from everybody else on Craigslist? You're going to give them a video. That's right. And let's show you how to do that. You're going to do a walk-around video. It's going to be about a minute long. You're going to start the bike up, show the tachometer, rev the motor a little bit, give something to people that's a little more than everybody else has given them. Once you've done that, you're going to navigate over to YouTube. And this is just a sample. I've already got some in here, your title. Okay, add a little bit of a description. You get to visibility. And this is just a sample video that I did as a, uh, for a podcast. Obviously, we're not going to use that. When you get to visibility, you want to go to unlisted. That's right. Anyone with the video link can watch your video, but it's not private and it's not public. So what this means is when you drop this into your Craigslist ad, only people that click on that Craigslist ad and click on that link are going to have access to that video. That means it's not public for everybody to see. So all you simply do here is navigate to your video before you or after you hit save. Doesn't matter. This is just an example, by the way. Take your video link. Come to Craigslist. Please click here to watch a walk around video of my motorcycle. Bam. So now you are giving somebody or somebody's something extra that nobody else has given them. And just because you made it this far in the video, I'm going to give you something extra, which is going to help keep those tire kickers and low ballers out of your business. It's usually about one to two sentences long. And I put in every Craigslist ad and I will tell you that I have never had anybody show up and offer me like $3,000 less than I was listing the bike for. Here's how this works. $8,500 is what we're gonna ask for the motorcycle. And I'm gonna type one simple sentence, maybe two. I have listed this motorcycle. So here we have an asterisk. I have listed this motorcycle for 8,500. What that means is I'm willing to negotiate down to $8,000. I will not accept less than $8,000. Thank you so much for understanding this. So people love human psyche. I don't know what it is. People love to get a deal. When was the last time you talked to somebody that they said they paid full price for something during Black Friday, buying a car, buying a motorcycle, whatever it is? Everybody loves to get a deal and everybody loves to negotiate as part of our culture. So what you're telling them is, look, I've listed the bike for 8,500. If you say, hey, would you take 8,000? Yes, I will take 8,000. But if you show up to talk to me about my motorcycle that's listed for 8,500 and you're like, I'll give you five grand cash, you just wasted everybody's time. So by putting this in there, you pretty much and hopefully eliminate the people that are gonna to try to do that to you. Anyways, I've had good luck doing this. Okay, I will tell you, this is probably 15 years ago, I had a bike listed for like 8,500, and I had a guy say, I'll give you five grand cash. And I said, hey, the road's that way, have a nice trip. All right, so we've got our pictures, we've got our video, we've got our title, we've got our description. I'm gonna give you the most important piece of advice when somebody comes to look at your motorcycle. Protect yourself, protect them, protect the entire transaction. Do not let someone ride your motorcycle without cash or check in hand. Do not allow somebody to ride your motorcycle without cash or check in hand. Imagine if somebody were to, let me just take this for a test ride and put it into a ditch, wrap it around a pole, get hit by a car, hopefully not. They don't have insurance, now what? Last time I had somebody test ride a motorcycle, I had a check made out to me for the full amount and I held onto that check. And when he came back, he's like, sure, I'll take it. I deposited the check. Do not let somebody ride your motorcycle without protecting yourself and that bike. All right, so that wraps it up. I'm going to include two videos, guys, that you should probably watch if you're a beginner motorcycle or you want to share them with a beginner rider or somebody that's going to buy a new motorcycle, going to buy a used motorcycle, whatever. Great advice from Scott O'Sullivan, who is a motorcycle attorney. He's seen it all. So he gives advice to new riders. And I have another video about group rides because group rides can be incredibly fun or incredibly dangerous depending on how things go. So check those two videos out. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, all the things. Guys, I really enjoy doing these videos. I really enjoy having this podcast. I really enjoy having this channel. And I really enjoy spending time with you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.